Okay, now we're going to talk about some of the individual zones of the Paran Dialog Multiplex system. And uh, we're going to show you the, on the screen some of these and get into a little bit of detail. Run through it in an organized fashion to show each zone, what it does, and uh, some of the capabilities. So again, this is the, the electronic controls and multiplexing technology. It brings the modular part of the ambulance with the chassis all into one screen. So we integrate all of these systems into one interface. Cameras, asset tracking, battery management, echo mode, etc. And uh, we'll go through each one of these. Uh, the first icon you'll hear, see here is satellite reception. We are indoors right now, so we don't have a good uh, satellite reception. We'll be sitting outside, we'll zoom in on the map to our exact location like any normal GPS you're used to. Second is your cellular signal zone. It'll show the signal of the cellular uh, service that's installed into the uh, wireless modem. It'll take data cards from multiple carriers to ensure you have coverage wherever you go. Third section here is the uh, state zone, the state of the system. It would say system OK, doors open, compartment lights, batteries low, echo engine start or stop, uh, battery charging. So whatever's going on actively that the uh, the attendants or the staff in the ambulance need to see would be displayed here in this zone. Next is the engine status. Of course it's clear right now. Would we get some sort of a check engine light it would show up here and then finally the park indicator so we know our parking brake is set. If it's not set it's going to be flashing red and you're going to get an audible alarm. Move down into the next zone which encompasses these soft touch uh, touch screen buttons and these are the vehicle monitoring and the light controls. We have left scene, rear load, right scene, we have uh, alternative headlight flasher or fog lights, whatever zone, uh, whatever option may have picked. You have your patient intercode alarms for red, yellow, and green patient status. You can hear the audible click that's coming through the speaker behind me. The silence for the backup alarm. You can actually activate the rear exhaust fan from here. You can uh, turn on exhaust in the back. You can control the rear domes. And the anti-theft button, which is a key with a line through it, they can activate that turn the ignition off, the engine stays running, take the keys with them. This zone here is called the dynamic zone. It will display things like uh, general vehicle information you see now, the vehicle's plugged in, you see that there are doors open, you see an hour meter for run time and idle time, you see the battery banks and their associated voltages. Uh, these are linked together showing you that right now the isolator is open and both banks are connected and charging and what their active state is, how much amperage draw you have, items such as that. Uh, and then you can also toggle from the hour meter over to the oxygen system. So we have oxygen tank one, oxygen tank two, and if you have medical air of course it would be there as well. The next section of this dynamic screen is the camera section. So you can see here if I hit camera, uh, the first camera that pops up is the interior camera. You can have up to four on this particular system. And if we touch the screen again, it goes to a full view. So if you're transporting a patient uh, that may need monitoring or you want to keep an eye, the driver to keep an eye on what's going on in the back of the vehicle, you can see right now the attendant seat, the cot, uh, and the airway seat that's turned around. To go back to the smaller mode so you can still see the other vehicle controls, uh, you'll see the camera just pops down on the screen. If you have a reverse camera, obviously when you put it in reverse this is going to go full screen with a backup camera so they can see what they're backing up toward. If you have turn signal indicator cameras, so your light, right blinker or left blinker comes on, those blind spot cameras will pop up into that screen. So it automatically activates when the camera's in reverse. It has auto activation for uh, blind spots or dead angles to the sides of the vehicle. The next section would be the RFID tags or the asset tracking. It will give the driver a screen uh, in this dynamic zone that shows that stretcher turning red so they have been active they've been notified that they've left a scene or left a location without their stretcher another function in the dynamic zone is the mapping the gps tracking so you can display a smaller map here that'll show the position of the vehicle uh, or your current route 